Hi folks, my name is Craig Smith. I'm the uh, Public Services Programme Manager at the Hereford Nudlow College. Um, I work for the Hereford Nudlow North Shropshire and County Training Colleges. Obviously we're going through something of a bit of a, a, a crisis as a country at the moment. So obviously we don't have any students in our colleges sadly. Um, so obviously that's what we all get into education for. We enjoy our, our jobs. Um, so this is our way of contacting some students to keep you active, keep you getting involved in some, uh, some physical exercise which is great for uh, mental outlook on everything that's going on. Um, we'd like to be a bit competitive, so every week there may be a different workout being advertised. Um, so please get involved, please enjoy it, and please post any times uh, that you get involved in. So the first workout we're going to look at, um, the first week's worth of uh, workouts, is going to be a 16 minute, that's one six minute, um, every minute on the minute workout, which means there's four different exercises. In the first minute you do the one exercise, then another exercise and another and another, then that cycle repeats itself four times. So it's 16 minutes. So you'll need a running clock. Um, another thing you can use if you download some apps, there's some apps that actually um, have like running clocks on them with uh, uh, like auditory beepers. So when the minute's about to run out, uh, a beep will go off and indicate that you need to go on to the next workout. Um, this is a little bit ambitious, this workout. Um, it's They're all designed to push you a little bit hard. Um, Please ensure that every time you do one of these, you have a decent warm up and make sure lots of dynamic stretching. And at the end of each of the workouts, you do a cooling off period where you stretch out a little bit more um, static stretching. So um, you can use a range of different stretches you can find online. Um, so without further ado, this particular workout is uh, a 16 minute AMRAP. Uh, sorry, 16 minute every minute on the minute. First minute then is going to be um, 18 push ups. So all we do for a push up, I'm going to talk you through the uh, the exercise as best I can. So from here, all we do is we go down onto our knees or onto our feet. Knees are slightly easier. Feet obviously make it a little bit harder. Okay, so if we're onto our knees, all we do is we come down into this position here. We go onto our knees. Just move back so you can see. So from here, our hands go in line with our shoulders. Um, we want to be slightly outside of shoulder width. We come onto our knees. And I really want to feel like your weight is coming over. Okay, your hands, okay? I don't want what they call in the business chicken peckers where your head's just going down, your whole chest must come down and then we push up into a lockdown position. A normal push up is exactly the same thing, except rather than being on your knees, you go onto your feet. Um, that just makes it a little more difficult because obviously the weight distribution is slightly different, which puts more pressure through your chest, okay? So that's the first minute and we're gonna try and establish 18 push ups in that first minute. The second minute is going to be 12 burpees. Uh, a burpee is not something I enjoy. Uh, they're not suited for the, uh, the bigger guys, or bigger anybody really. Um, I don't like them, that's why I do them, because um, they're really good for you. Um, and it's gonna be a 12 burpee in a minute period. So a burpee, quite simply put, is about getting your entire body on the floor, then getting it off the floor into an upright position uh, where you then leave the floor with a slight cap above your head. Okay, so there's different ways you can do this. You can step down, okay, step back, put your chest on the floor, okay, make sure your chest and your hips are off the floor, sorry, on the floor, then step back up, okay, and then we jump with a clap above the head, okay, now bearing in mind you can walk your feet up, um, I myself have got a bit of a pulled hamstring at the moment, so excuse my, uh, my dodgy movement, um, but you can walk back up. Another way you can do it is a bit more dynamic, which means you start in an upright position, you throw your legs back, chest and hips touch the floor, and then we jump up with a clap above the head. I will try and demonstrate one of those for you now. So we throw our hips down, we come up, we pop up, clap above our head. Like I said, that's really ugly form for anybody who does exercise, you'll know that it's not looking great. But like I said, my hamstring is really killing me today. Um, the next minute, so we do as many of those, sorry, we do 12 of those in that minute period. If you do them in, I don't know, let's be ambitious, 30 seconds, you've got a 30 second rest period till the third minute kicks in. The third minute is something called an L-sit, which essentially is a, a core and lower ab exercise. It's the same principles as a sit-up really, but we just, we just change it slightly, okay? So I'll do it facing the camera so you can see. So we go down onto our butts. So we're in a sitting position. All we do is have our legs completely flat against the floor, heels and bum on the floor. And all we do is we sit back and our hands go above our head and touch the floor. You don't have to fully extend the hands out, but we just touch the butt behind our head. All we do from there is we leave our butt, our hips and our legs on the floor and we sit up 
and we try and touch our toes. If you can't touch toes like me, because I'm vertically challenged, I'm a little bit too tall for this one, okay? Try and touch your shins or any part of your leg as long as you reach that point where you're at full stretch capacity. And then all we do is we repeat, we go down and up, and we keep going until we've done 12 L sits in that minute period. Okay, once we've done our L sits, we go on to the fourth minute, and the fourth minute, okay, it's something called a down up. Okay, and down ups are essentially the same thing as a burpee. The only difference is we don't jump and clap at the end. Okay, so it's a little bit of a nice finisher, but we then go into our push ups again, our burpees, our L sits, our down ups, and we keep cycling that process. To clarify the reps, it's 18 push ups. 12 burpees, 18 L sits, 12 down ups. So that cycle repeats itself four times. Um, the idea is to try and um, do it as fast as you can, but with good form. Um, form over brawn, uh, don't have ugly technique. Make sure every exercise is done correctly with good form. But the idea is I want to try and do 18 push ups with good form as quick as I can so I can establish as much rest in that minute until the next minute kicks in. Okay? Um, I hope you all enjoy these. Obviously, this is a bit of a wave of a trend at the moment, home workouts, it is what it is, I get that. I appreciate that not everyone's, uh, I, I'm very fortunate to have a home gym and I'm probably the envy of a lot of the people uh, at the moment. Um, but essentially, all these workouts are things you can do in your garden, do it at home, do it in the front room, um, and you can just get involved, share your scores with other people, share your scores on the thread on all of these posts. Uh, it'd be great to see people taking part in them. Um, just enjoy them, um, it's something to keep you active, keep you fit. One thing I would like to say is obviously ensure that we're following government guidelines, um, listen to everything that's going on in the news. We'll get through this together. Stay strong, stay healthy, stay safe. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much.